I'm going to take a look at factoring out the greatest common factor, also known as GCF. Factoring simply means to undistribute. It simply means to undistribute, which means get back out of the house. It's very important to understand that nothing in common can be left in the house. What do I mean by house? Uh, it just starts with parentheses. Make sure that you always factor out the GCF, the greatest common factor. This is a listening check. Underline the word undistribute. Underline the word undistribute. Now, so let's take a look at an example. Let's say you had 9V cubed minus 3V squared. All right, first thing you need to do is you need to put a house around the entire question. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then break the groups in the house into individuals, including numbers. So 9 breaks up into what? 9 is 3 times 3 in its simplest form. And then those are 3 Vs. Minus 3 can break down and then 2 Vs. So now I've broken up the groups into individuals. All right, take the individuals out. But remember, they must be in all groups to do this. So take the individuals out of the house and in each group. This is a listening check. Color in, they must be in all groups to do this. Color in, they must be in all groups. And then cancel as you take them out. So that you keep track of what you got. Groups are separated by the addition or subtraction sign. All right, so what can I take out? Let's see, it's a subtraction sign. All right, so I can take out a three because it's in both groups. And then as I take it out, I'm going to cancel it from both groups. It has to be in both groups. All right, number four, repeat this process until there's nothing in common left. There can't be anything in common in the parentheses left, otherwise you haven't taken out the greatest common factor. So what else can I take out? I can take out a V and I cross it out from both. I can take out another V and cross it out from both. So every time I take it out, I just put it outside and I cross it out. All right, once you've done all that, combine what you have on the outside and write out what's left in the house combined. This is a listening check. Put a box around the word combine. Put a box around the word combine. All right, so what do I have outside? I have three and I have two V, so V squared, I combine them. Inside I have three V minus, oh, I'm gonna run into this. Okay, so this is a special case. Note, if nothing is left before or after the plus or minus, after you take stuff out, put a one as a placeholder. Because anything multiplied by one is that same anything. Now, if you don't put that one there, you're going to be wrong. So I need that one there because when I multiply it back out, it's going to give me that 3v squared at the end. Without that one, it wouldn't give me that. All right, example two. Let's say you have 15y squared minus 20xy plus 35y. So first things first, put the house around it. Break it into groups. Break the groups into individuals. So we have three groups in this one. So breaking 15 down, 3 times 5, and then 2 y's. Breaking 20 down, 2 times 2 times 5, and then we have x, y, and then breaking 35 down, 7 times 5, and then we have y. Now, once you have it broken down, you need to take individuals out. So what's common? I can take out a 5 because it's in every single group. What else can I take out? I can take out a y because it's in every single group. And cross them out as you go. There's nothing left in common. So I've repeated the process. There's nothing in common left. All right, then combine what you have on the outside and write what's left on the inside combined. So I have 5y on the outside, inside I have 3y, then I have 4xy um, plus 7y. I'm going to add one more step. Check your answer by getting back into the house. Just to make sure that you didn't make something up. So just check it. So when you multiply it back out, do you get the right, do you get the same thing you started off with? Yes. All right, perfect. Let's take a look at another example. Let's say you had 2a to the fourth power b minus 3a to the third power b squared plus a squared b to the fourth power. 
Alright, so first things first, put a house around the entire question. Alright, break the groups in the house into individuals. So we have three groups here. Two can be broken down. Then we have four A's and one B. Three can be broken down. And then we have three A's and two B's. And then we have two A's and four B's. Alright, so let's take the individuals out, making sure they're in every group. So they have to be in every group. Number wise, I can't take anything out, but I can take out an A. What else can I take out? I can take out another A. Cross them out as you go. I can take out a B. Cross them out as you go. And you can see that there's nothing in common in all three groups. So then I'm done. So then now you need to combine the outside. So that's two A's on the outside and a B. And then we have 2A squared minus 3AB plus 3Bs. All right, check your answer by getting back in the house. So when you multiply back out, you get the original problem. Yes, I do. The listening check, circle example three. Do one final example. Let's say you had 20W squared Y minus 16WY squared plus 8W cubed Y cubed. So again, start by putting um, parentheses around the entire thing. A uh, house. All right, break the individuals down. So how does 20 break down? Two times 10, which breaks down to two times five. So two times two times five, two W's, one Y. 16, eight times two, so two times, and then eight breaks down into four times two, so another two, so four twos. W and then two Y's. And then eight breaks down to four times two, which four breaks down into two times two, so three twos, three W's, three Y's. And just you just multiply back out to make sure that it is the number. Alright, so now let's take them out. Let's look in at numbers. I can take out a 2 from all of them and cross them out. I can still take out another 2, cross them out. I uh, can't take out any more numbers. How about W? Cross them out. Out of every group. Uh, what else? Y? Cross them out. And you can see that there's nothing in common in all three groups. So that's it. So combine the outside. So I've got 2 times 2, which is 4. I've got one Y and one W. And then inside I've got five W minus two times two is four and a Y plus a two, two W's and two Y's. And that's pretty much it. So you check your answer, four times five is 20 and the whole way around basically. You get the exact same thing back then you're okay. All right, just make sure you take out the greatest common factor. Once you get used to breaking it down, you won't even have to break it down like that. You could do it in your head. So let's practice.